What's going on YouTube? Thanks for clicking on the video. Today we're going to use three free to use softwares to design a swim bait that will hopefully catch fish here in the spring. So if that's something you're into, go ahead and stick around. Alright, welcome back. So the first program we're going to use is Autodesk Fusion 360. We're going to create a rough blank, essentially, out of this. So if you're thinking about like uh, this in a woodworking context, this would be like turning down a blank on a lathe to make it smaller so you can shape it or cutting it rough cut on like a miter saw or something like that just to, to get the excess out. Um, I guess technically, because it's going to be a little bit more sculpty-ish, it would be more like removing... Uh, excess with like something like a scroll saw or something like that so um, all right let's jump into fusion 360 here um, I'm not gonna go much over this environment you can find a lot a lot of good information on this I will put some links in the description if you would like to uh, try and find some tutorial help on this uh, basically all it is is just a, a sketch environment so you have your your traditional three planes your X your Y and your Z um, you have to pick that when you start so I'm going to create a sketch looking from the top down um, these are delineated in millimeters here so uh, it goes from 0 to 100 what I'm going to do is now that I'm in a sketch I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do a spline and I'm going to take it from this origin point the center of the X and the Y and I'm just going to kind of roughly shape half of what I think a swim bait um, should look like. I'm not really going to worry about size at this point. I'm just going to kind of get a rough like oh I think this is what a swim bait, half a swim bait would look like. And then when I when I get it to about there I can I can come in here and then I grab in my select tool and I can move the spline points around so like I don't really like how this is more um, kind of fatter down there at the end I don't really like that so I'm going to bring this in I'm going to kind of make it a little bit longer and I don't really like grabbing anything that's on these origin points uh, like on the axis itself and I'll show you why in a second Access, not access. Not sponsored by Microsoft. Okay, let's do like something like that. I'm okay with that actually. We'll bring this down in a little bit more. Something like that. Make that a little bit sharper. Something like that. That should work okay. I'm all right with it. This is just going to be a rough blank. Remember, we're just blanking it out. So then I'm going to come up, do a line, and I'm going to put it on this, um, on the Y? Yeah, on the Y axis. I say, okay, I'm going to lock that line in there, and then I'm going to go to sketch. I'm going to mirror it. So I want to mirror this line so it, it selects and highlights that whole line. Then I'm going to mirror it on the line I just, I just made there. So now we have a full, if I don't undo it. If you right click, it'll also undo. Uh, right click and swipe to the left, it'll undo. That's exactly what just happened to me. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty good with that. I'm going to come back. I'm going to stop this sketch. We'll look at it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. If I want to go back into a sketch, I right click on it. I go edit sketch. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to delete that reference line. Because I don't want that in there messing anything up in the future. I'm going to stop that sketch. Then I'm going to go to the, the left or right or wherever of this um, sketch. So I'm going to hit this button in the upper left here to give me a side profile of what I've been looking at. So then I'm going to create another sketch. And I'm going to do it on this plane that I'm looking at the side. Then I'm just going to sketch with another spline what I think this should roughly look like on the top. So I'm just kind of doing this number. I'm going to bring it down towards the tail. And then I'm going to kind of just end it 
right about there. I'm not really going to worry too much about it. And then I don't want this symmetrical, so I'm just going to do another spline. But this time on the bottom. And I'm going to make it kind of belly out a little bit. So I'm going to bring like the belly up to about here. And I'm going to bring it up probably to about right there. And then I'll meet this other point over there. So then I'm going to stop that sketch. So now what we have is basically a wireframe model of the swim bait we want. And I'm okay. I'm okay with that. That should work out. So then what I'm going to do is I am going to go back into the sketch on this side. And there might be a little, an easier way to do this, but this is just what I do. I'm editing that sketch to the side. And I'm just going to put some lines here. Uh, I'm going to hover over this so it gives me a reference line. I'll make sure I get to the right reference line. And then that's going to create, you can see that'll create a face there. And that'll be important here in a minute. I'll show you why. But then I'm just going to do this again on the bottom. Mess that one up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go down here, line, give myself a reference line. There we go. There we go. All right, now we got another face. So we have two faces here on our profile. It'll be important in a little bit here. So I'm going to lock that sketch in. I'm going to say stop sketch. Then I'm going to go to my top profile. I'm going to edit that sketch as well. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. No bigs. No big deal. It doesn't really matter if these are um, the same or not. Well, it matters. It matters if they um, are the same, the correct area, that's for sure. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now, hopefully, yep, we have those two profiles there as well. Okay, so now I'm going to lock that sketch in again. Now what I'm going to do is, I like this profile, I like how it's how it's going here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this middle portion here, and I'm going to do a press pull. I'm going to do direction is going to be symmetric, and I'm just going to pull it out. So now it creates a body that gets pulled out. Now what I don't want to do is go past these boxes I made earlier. So I'm going to say that's okay. I'm going to make that a new body. Then I'm going to go, I'll probably turn that body off real quick so I can do this. Then I'm going to go in here. Let me grab it. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to press pull this. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go direction. It's going to be symmetric. And I'm going to pull it up just enough to where it's not going over those boxes we just did. Okay, so now I'll turn that body, <clears throat> excuse me, now I'll turn that body on. So now we got the kind of a three-dimensional version of what the profile we we just picked. So now it's going to be one of these numbers where we're going to take these two, we're going to do a press pull on these, and we're going to do, instead of making a new body, we're going to do a cut. And we're going to do a symmetric again, and we're just going to pull those out. And what that's going to do is that's going to cut that body that we just made. So we'll do that once here. And now, go to these. Right there, we'll do a press pull. We'll do a cut operation. We'll do symmetric on that as well. We'll come up past where we need to go, and we will do a cut. We'll take these sketches off, and look, now we're left with a pretty good blank to start doing what we want to do with it. 
So it's a 3D space object, basically, that we have just made with Fusion 360 that we can then do a blank on. So I'm going to leave this as part one. I'll probably do this in a three-part series just because the videos are going to be ex extensively long um, if I don't. But before I go, I'll just tell you all you got to do here is go to bodies and make a liar out of me. Oh, no, you go all the way up to the top here. It'll highlight everything when you do that. Go up there and then save as an STL, and you can export it and then do it however you want, right? So I'm going to end that there. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like. Maybe even consider subscribing. This will be a part one of a part three series, so go ahead and uh, happy watching. Keep your amps up and your filament dry.